Well, let's have a look at what's happening on the old YouTube.com. Dooby dooby doo. Huh? Hang on a minute. Good morning all. I thought I'd do a little bit of a seedling tour before heading out to the allotment today. I think I've learnt my lesson after the, the butternut squash died and after the lettuces and the poor spinach under the cloche aren't doing hugely well. So I think I'll keep things inside for a bit longer until they've I don't know, they've got a bit more a bit more solid and steady and then I'll move them out. So these are the ones that are still inside at the moment. We have here three courgettes, uh, zucchini, zucchini, courgettes. The, they were the last of the seeds that I had from quite a few years ago, so I'm impressed that they kept going. That one's obviously a bit on the tiddly side, but the other ones aren't doing too bad. We've got the four remaining butternut squash here. They're doing very well. They're, they're very happy little plants. In fact, I think if we zoom back in, they've even got some little, uh, oh no, those might, they're not actually the leaves, I was going to say they've got little flowers on, I think the courgettes might be. That definitely looks quite like a bud, I do apologise for my shaky hands. Then if we go along, we have my runner beans, these are also the last of uh, the seed packet I had, these are enorma, quite appropriately, appropriately named. Um, after the, the squash didn't do too well, I was like, right, okay, I'll follow what the seed packet says. I won't move them out too soon. But they're huge, so maybe I could move them out, maybe the long one. It's just taking them up to the allotment, I'm worried that they'll, that they'll get damaged and, and snap, and that won't do them a huge amount of good. We've got a few velvet queen sunflowers that are from seeds that I harvest last year. They're really not doing too well at all. I mean, they're quite leggy because obviously I don't get much direct sunlight. But even so, they're just... I don't know, they seem very, very unwell. These are my chilies, <laughs> The same ones from the poor chilies that didn't survive the, survive the cloche. Except obviously there's this monster here. This chap, who you can see, is a lot bigger than the other ones. Oh, am I being joined by a creature? I'm being sniffed. As you can see, it's a lot bigger than the other ones. That one actually turned up in an old mint plant. I guess the seed was in the compost or somehow got in. So, yeah, I th according to the plant net app, it is some variety of chilli. Not quite sure what, but hopefully it'll, it'll do something. Uh, just some herbs up there. And then down here, we have my tomatoes. Got four of them. They're probably getting a bit big now for their for their pots, their gardener's delight. And they're growing they're growing very well. They were they were sown in I think the middle of Feb. So they've had quite a bit longer than most of the other most of the other seedlings which were sown in I think about the eleventh of March for most things. And then these are the seedlings that have been hardening off on the balcony for a fair few weeks. You can see at the top those are the beetroot baltardi, they've already gone out. Next we've got the, I think it's a red sprouting broccoli. Some of them have already gone out. We've got kale, I think that's scarlet kale. We've got some Romanesco broccoli. Uh, down here is, oh gosh, always with the fingers. Uh, these are the spinach mediana. I can, I can never remember how to pronounce it. Got, I think, some cosmos or zinnia there. Uh, these are leeks, musselbra, is it? I think those all failed. Got some little foxgloves starting off again with the flowers. And yeah, just flowers down there. And this is the mint that I took from around the pond in the wildlife area that's not doing too badly. I'll have to check what kind of mint that actually is. The rest of my poor lettuce seed tray really doesn't seem to be doing very well at all. I may have to sow some of those from seed. And then there's the rest of the Romanesco broccoli. It's quite leggy, but it's 
<laughs> it's very vigorous so that's something and then the last of the beetroot I know it seems a bit strange it's like why have you got them in the seed trays and why aren't they in the cells I just did everything in the wrong order and things got super leggy so this made sense at the time honest I think this will be the last time I get to say it's a beautiful day at the plot for a while I and mean, that we've got rain forecast for next two weeks which is good obviously because you know plants and all that sort of good news the the clash has more or less survived which is which is unexpected it's a bit skew with perhaps but not too bad oh the uh i popped some cheese wax on the end sort of so the um so the poles didn't push through the plastic so <laughs> it looks like it's melted unsurprisingly i don't actually have a huge number of jobs to do today i mean other than the general weeding and uh weeding and watering i wanted to get the um the weed root tea if, that, if that's worked strained and into new bottles other than that not a, not a huge amount oh i was going to make some brusque collars for the uh the sprouting broccoli hopefully that'll be good other than that, yeah not a huge amount really just uh, enjoy the sunshine the radishes looking absolutely fantastic. They're grand they are. We have to harvest them soon, they only went in, I don't know, 20 days ago or so. With the exception of that one there, I think all of my volunteer potatoes are up now. All the sort of scavenged ones. Which is up to here. And on this side, these are the main crops that Dan and Carly gave me. And quite a few of them are up. There's the two on the left, that one in the middle. I'm not sure if that's actually a potato, but that's three of the eight. Nice. Oh dear, I think they, the, the onions are definitely in need of a weed. Speaking of weeds... Oops, shouldn't have let these go to seed, should I? I do that's a bit unexpected. I guess I should have should have took that food trench a bit deeper for where the beans are going to go. The carrots are doing great. I'm loath to thin them out really, especially given that they might encourage carrot root fry. These are the uh, the Nantes five. And if we move across, we've got the Cosmic Purple and they're, they're doing pretty well too. In fact, maybe a bit better, which is pretty good really because I don't have any more of that packet left. Well, these weed concoctions have been brewing for about a month, so the plan is, not sure how it'll work, is to strain it through this old face cloth into some new containers and hopefully that can be used a bit like comfrey tea. That be. Hello, little bee. Oh dear, yet another cloche disaster. There's a couple of the spinach at the back that have maybe just about held on, but the lettuces, I mean, they're all gone. This <laughs> occasionally I think, oh, there's one, but it's like, no, that's that's definitely not a lettuce. That's dandelion or something and to add insult to injury the um the wax perhaps unsurprisingly is just it's just melted and fallen off which looks a bit disgusting again the lessons from Sylvia aren't doing too badly but they do seem to be getting sort of almost like burning at the edge of the leaves so maybe they are getting a bit too warm under here who knows, really? Maybe this cloche wasn't such a good idea after all. I think I might have a go at splitting up some of these lettuces. If you sort of part them a bit, they definitely look like they should be split upable further. I mean, I did do that originally. So at least I'll have some lettuces growing under here. 
there ended up being quite a few more sort of individual lettuce plants than I originally thought. So I thought, well, might as well pop them all in, given that all of mine seem to have pretty much died, with the exception of two spinach. The, well, not the comfrey tea, but the the weed root tea definitely smells as bad as people say comfrey tea smells. So hopefully that will also help to put the lettuces and the two spinach up, but I don't know. I've also, I did actually bring the, uh, the spinach and lettuce seeds with me, so I may pop a direct sow a few and see if, see if that works a bit better. Evening, well, it feels like a kind of anticlimactic evening really. I, I think the, uh, the continued failure with the, with the cloche is, I don't know, putting a bit of a damper on things, because most everything else seems fairly okay. The, um, the potatoes are all coming up, the radish is doing well, the onions are good. The sprouting broccoli is still alive. Better luck next week. Apologies for the rather quick send-off at the plot. It was a combination, I think, of things not working well under the cloche was a bit demoralising. And then also, I just really need to go to the loo, to be honest. It's a, it's a shame that there isn't any sort of, I don't know, chemical or composting toilet up there. And to be honest, I guess I could go in the woodland area, try and find <laughs> Try and find a secluded spot, but even I, I don't know. The risk of someone coming up in on you is probably a bit too high, really, to risk it. So, rush back as quickly as I could. Yeah, hopefully things are a bit better later in the week. I mean, we're we're getting some some wet weather for a change, so hopefully the plants will be a lot happier. And yeah, then it'll be time to get in, get in the beans. Maybe get in the courgettes. They're getting quite chunky now, so. Yeah, fingers crossed for next week, I guess. And this is why you should always check that there aren't tools in the middle of your path. Apologies for my pasty, stubbly leg. At least I'm not showing you the horrific bruises on my other leg, so that's something.